grade, let's talk about place value relationships with decimals. So just like whole number place value works on a base 10 system, our decimals do too. Every time we increase in value, it's like multiplying by 10. In our decimals, it works the very same way. Every time you increase in place value, it's like multiplying 10 times the value of the place on the right. So the hundredths place here on the decimal side of things is 10 times the value of a number in the thousandths place. Just like the tens would be 10 times the value of something in the ones place. So let's think about how these compare to one another. Looking at part A here, the value of a digit is blank times the value of a like digit, one place to its right. Well, let's pick a place. I'm gonna pick the tenths place, and I'm gonna pretend I have an imaginary number, maybe it's a three, and I'm gonna look at one place to the right. Well, the place value that's just to the right of the tenths would be the hundredths and I can see that it is 10 times the value. So one place away, one jump away, would be 10 times the value. What if it were two places away? Look at part B here. If it's two places to its right, that would be looking at the thousandths place. So if I look, the difference between that tenths and the thousandths place, it's one, two spaces away. Each time I jump one of those spaces, I'm increasing in value times 10. So 10 times 10 would be 100 times the value here. Notice that I multiplied those. Because they increase times 10 each time, I'm not just adding them up. They're multiplying times 10 each time, so I must multiply to get 100 times the value. Hmm. Well, let's try one more here. This time for C, it asked me to find the value of a like digit three places to the right. So let's say we have a hundreds place here, and I'm looking three places to the right. Okay, so one place to the right, I've got from the tens to the hundred would be times 10. Okay, that's one place away. Ones to the tens, that's two places away. One, two places from the hundreds. Okay, so 10 times 10 is 100. Then I'm gonna jump one more time. I'm gonna jump really far because notice this decimal point isn't actually a place value. It's just holding that spot in my chart. So three places away would be the tenths place. The tenths place compared to the hundreds place is three places away. So I jump one, two, three times, 10 times 10 times 10 means the hundreds place is 1,000 times greater than the tenths place. Three places away means three jumps times 10 each time. So let's compare a couple of numbers, shall we? How do the value of the nines in 921 thousandths and 296 thousandths compare? Well, in my first number, I see that the nine is in the tenths place. So I'm gonna write my nine here. In my second number, I see it's in the hundredths place. Okay, so put my nine in the hundredths. Let's compare the tenths place to that hundredths place. That's one jump away. That means the value of the nine in the first number is 10 times greater than the value of the nine in the second number. One place away means one jump times 10. We can also find comparisons in place value even when we're going the opposite direction. Multiplication and division are opposite of one another. The inverse, we say, of multiplication is division. So I can use division to figure out when my place values are getting smaller, going the opposite way than multiplying. 
So another way to show division is by writing it as a fraction. Remember that fraction bar means divide. So if I say this place divided by 10, or this place is one tenth the value, that's because those two can mean the same thing. If I multiply a number times one tenth, I'm going to get the same result as if I divided it by 10. So let's look at the eights in this number. How does the eight in the thousandths place compare to the value of the eight in the tenths place? Well, let me look here. Eight in the thousandths, eight in the tenths. The thousandths place, I know, is smaller than the tenths. So it makes sense that I'm going to have a fraction as my answer because it's much smaller than a whole number. So that is one, two places away. And each place that I jump when I'm getting this smaller direction is like dividing by 10 or one tenth the value. So one tenth times another one tenth would be one one hundredth the value or dividing by 100 to get the value here. So the value of the eight in the thousandths place, this smaller place is one one hundredth, the value of the eight in the tenths place. Let's try one more together here. How does the value of the four in these numbers compare? 34 and nine tenths compared to 249. Well, let's look. The four in our first number is in the ones place. I'm gonna put my four here in the ones place. The four in my second number is in the tens place. So I'm comparing the smaller place value ones compared to the bigger place value tens. They are one jump away from one another, one place value away. And since the ones is smaller, I know that my answer is going to be in fraction form. The four in the ones place is one tenth, the value of the four in the tens place. I know this is a tricky concept. There's a lot to think through and to wrap your brain around when you look at comparing place value relationships. But I hope this helps you start to see how these different place values can relate to one another.